Righto, tell the out there champs. Now this thing here is MSI's GE76 Stealth. And I gotta tell you now, man, this thing is stacked. I mean, if we go have a look at the specs on the back here, I think there's gonna be some resizable bar action. Floppies turn into solid states. So straight off the deck, we have 7.3 inch full HD anti-glare IPS panel, 360 hertz, Intel 11900H, Wharf. This also has an RTX 3080, a 16 gigabyte version, a two terabyte SSD. This thing is actually stacked here. It comes with Windows Pro, so you won't have to upgrade that. So yeah, that's cool. It's got everything a gamer wants, right? But there's one thing that stands out here, 99 watt hour battery. You see, a lot of manufacturers, they make these big laptops, but they don't put the full size battery in. 99 watt hour is what we want. That's the sort of limit, so it can go on a plane. We want the maximum, right? And then 17 inch, there's no excuse, and they've done it. A lot of manufacturers aren't doing that. So let's unbox it, have a look. But before we have a look at that, we'll just have a look at this power brick here. We have a Shikoni power brick and it's 230 watts. The Dragon logo is cool. I mean, who could not like a Dragon? Dragon is awesome. I love Lucky the Dragon. Come on, Ivy. My son is waiting for the Lucky Dragon soft toy. Anyway, let's unbox it. There you go. There is the beast. Oh, yeah. Bit of stealth black there. Wow, that stealth black is never gonna look that good again, is it? Is it fingerprinty? Yeah, it's not too bad. There's the back, if you wanted to see that. Hey, it looks like Federation Square on the back there, but um, yeah. So she's a big boy, and I expect big boy performance too. There we have it. So let's talk about my general impressions of this and some performance. Now we have a 95 watt GPU and the CPU has a PL2 of 109 watts. Now I was not getting 109 watts, I was getting in the 90 sort of watts when I would do Cinebench with the CPU. 11900H, we just look at the Cinebench score I got and this was just pulling 90 watts. It's apparently supposed to go to 109, I don't know how you get 109, but we're talking 12857. So it's around that 13k mark which is where you want to be. Okay, so what it tells me here is dynamic boost, yes. Whisper mode, no. Optimus, advanced Optimus, no. 95 watts. But the most important thing is right there, Wolf. PCI Express, 16 lanes, Gen 4. I'll explain what that means in a sec. But first about this laptop, it is gaming done right. You are able to switch between discrete graphics and having the iGPU on, so hybrid mode. So you can go to discrete graphics, so you have the MOOC switch there. We also have HDMI 2.1, which means 4K 120Hz. 360Hz monitor, I mean, if you're playing like, you know, Overwatch, CSGO, stuff like that, that you can get the FPS, it will be an advantage to have 360Hz. It is 16x9, big display. And for gaming, 16x9 makes sense because a lot of games don't support 16x10. If you're a creator, you want 16x10. But for purely for gaming, games do not support 16x10. While there's not many that do, they either stretch or crop. 16x9 for now, you know, until the game sort of catch up there. So it's done everything right in the gaming sense. It's everything you want. 230 watt package here. I was getting around 130 watts total. So that's CPU and GPU together. Of course, the GPU does 95 watts and the CPU can do 90 watts individually. But that thing there I just showed you, the 16 lanes of PCI Express. Not only that, we get PCI Express for your SSD. I had a quick look inside. It looks like the motherboard's inverted, but you can change the SSD. So you'll be able to put a PCI Express 4.0 SSD in there and get some super fast write speeds. And more importantly, read speeds for loading games, etc. And to put things into perspective here, 16 lanes of PCI Express 4, that is just unheard of, okay? Well, at least until these 11th gen CPUs come out. Laptops usually come with the GPU connected by eight lanes of PCI Express 3. That means this, 16 lanes of PCI Express 4 is four times faster, four times the bandwidth of PCI Express 3, eight lanes, yep. I wasn't expecting 16 lanes. I thought they were going to have 8 lanes of PCI Express 4, which is equivalent to 16 lanes PCI Express 3. Now, we know 16 lanes PCI Express 4 and 3 doesn't really make that much difference, but going from 8 lanes PCI Express 3 to 16 lanes PCI Express 4, or even 8 lanes PCI Express 4, should make a bit of a difference there. So I think Intel's going to be faster for the gaming. Overall, the other stuff, I didn't want to kill myself with the trackpad, so that's good. The RGB is not the brightest, but it does look cool. 
cool. Uh, it's controlled by the SteelSeries software, Wi-Fi 6E, so that's a bonus there. And it is the stealth, right? So it doesn't look too gamery. I like how thin it is. It feels nice and thin for a 16-inch laptop. It doesn't feel too heavy, you know, just over 20 mils thickness and 2.5 kilos, whatever it is. There are a lot of 17 inches that feel a lot bigger than this. And although black is not my favorite color, I do like how clean it is. It doesn't look gamery, as I said. Also, Thunderbolt 4, Ethernet, everything a gamer wants. Stay tuned for more on this. So far, it's looking good. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.